now we will get into our performance testing area. Before we even understand what is performance testing, okay, we will try to understand why we have to do performance testing. Okay, why we have to do performance testing. Okay, why performance testing? We will take an example. So, I will be using this guy Mark all over my class. Okay, as I go further as well. Any analogy, any example, Mark is the guy for us. Okay. So, <clears throat> our Mark wants to buy a mobile phone and he wants to buy it online. Okay. Let's say it's a thousand dollar phone. So, he went to one of those online shopping websites. For our discussion purposes, let's say it's Amazon. So, he went to Amazon. He searched for the desired phone. And let's say the phone is like very expensive. It's a thousand dollar phone. Okay. He wants to buy for very, for very long time. Let's say it's the latest model of iPhone, even though in the picture it doesn't, it doesn't look latest, but let's assume it's the latest model. He searched for it. You know, he have been saving money for a while to buy this phone and all that. Okay. He searched for it. Okay. Now he has entered the credit card details. Okay. All the details. And click on buy now button. Okay. He has to click on buy now. Okay. Once he clicked on that button buy now, it took two minutes for our website to show this message. Okay. Thank you with shopping. This is, you know, your order has been booked. Here is the order number and all that to show that message. After you enter the credit card details, after you enter the CDD number, the OTP and everything, you click on buy now. Okay. He was expecting this message. He got that message, but it took two minutes for, for him. Okay. That is a really long time. Okay. So <clears throat> now in those two minutes, see what Mark would be going through. Okay. Oh my God. I've given hundred. It's a thousand dollar phone. I've given my credit card and it's still processing. It's been two minutes. Okay. Should I cancel it? Should I go back to my previous um, um, window? Or, uh, you know, should, should I close the window? If, if I close, like, you know, what happens to my money, you know, is the, is, is, is the transaction process. Okay. So you know, a lot of things goes on in his mind. You see. Okay. Ideally, within seconds, you expect that message. You enter the credit card details, CVV, everything, click on buy button. You expect that message, you know, thank you for shopping with us. You know, here is your order number within two or three seconds max. Okay. But it is taking two minutes. And this guy is a little scared because it's a thousand dollar phone and he doesn't even know what happens to his money, all his money. Okay. So no, is my Mark happy with it? No, he's not happy. You know, he's not happy with that website, especially this is a business critical transaction. You see, this is a business critical, there's money involved and there is customer sentiments. You know, this guy who came over, you know, especially if this happens in any other um, um, page, uh, it's not, he will not be that scared, you know, he will be just pissed off. But it's happening over here, wherein you are given the credit card details and all that. You know, he gets really pissed off, okay? Because he doesn't know what goes on with his money. He doesn't know whether he has to cancel the transaction, has to close the window or go back to the previous window. A lot of things goes on in his mind. So one thing is for sure, he is not happy with the website, okay? He is not happy with this website in our case. Just for discussion purposes, I've taken Amazon. Honestly speaking, Amazon is very fast. Okay. So uh, just as an example, I have to take some example. I've taken this example. So yeah, if there are any fans of Amazon, I'm sorry about it. So just it's an example that I've taken. So our mark is not happy with this website. Certainly not because it is taken. And sometimes even worse, I've seen that after two minutes, you're expecting this. But you got this page saying that 404 page not found and all that. Now imagine what Mark would go through. He doesn't even know what happened to his money. You know, uh, is a money deducted from his credit cards? If so, whom to contact, how to contact? He doesn't have the transaction number. What would happen? So he'll be really, really pissed off with all that. So one thing for sure, Mark will never visit that website. Okay. One thing for sure. If all this happens to Mark, he will never visit that website again okay so performance 
testing is required in these cases. You see, the mark is not happy. He doesn't come to your website again, which means that Amazon is losing the customers. Okay, so <clears throat> in the next slide, I will cover that. Okay, so, so you see, in our case, the Amazon is slow. Okay, now our mark is not happy. Okay, so he bought it this time, but the next time around, you know, he doesn't come to this website because he's not happy with the performance. You know, it took two minutes. You know, people usually two seconds is the standards. Once you enter the credit card, it says click on buy button. Within two two seconds, he's supposed to see that message. What message? Thank you for shopping with us. This message. But how much time it has taken? Two minutes. Lot of time. Lot of time. So our mark is not happy. So we will move into one of the other online shopping websites. Okay. I don't know in US you have this website called Flipkart, but back in India it's very popular. So I have done put it out there. So he might go to Flipkart or he might go to eBay. He might go to Jabong or Snapdeal. And I don't know in US the other uh, thing, but these are very popular in India. That's why I put it out, put it down here. But the point which I'm trying to make over here is if you're not happy with one website, you are, you're going to go and search for others because these days, Mark has a lot of options. Okay. Maybe anything, whether you wanted to book movie web booking tickets or whether you wanted to do online shopping, whether you wanted to do whatever. Okay. So, if, if you don't like that one, there are a lot of options. Okay. So <clears throat> the customers have a lot of options. And these days the customers are not so uh, um, uh, patient. Okay. So they're, they're, they want everything to be done quickly. Everything to happen quickly. Okay. So they do search for others if they're not happy with the performance of one website. Okay. Two minutes is bad performance. Two seconds is good performance. You see. So two minutes has happened. So it's a bad performance. The application, in other words, the application is really, really slow. Okay. So then they move on to other websites. Okay. So <clears throat> people have a lot of options. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay. So if the application is slow, the end customer is not happy. So our mark is not happy. If he's not happy, he's not going to visit our website again. Never again. Okay, so as a business owner, okay, you are the owner of Amazon. Okay, you are losing your customers. If you are losing your customers, you are losing the business as well. Okay, if you are losing your customers, you are losing the business. The Amazon is out there so that the people can come and buy. More people comes over there, more profits these guys will make. Okay. Scope of performance testing. So usually uh, there is something called test plan that we build for performance testing and we do, uh, uh, what do you say, uh, identify the scope, okay, as to what needs to be tested and what needs, uh, what need not have to be tested, okay. I'll try to cover this in details. I have some slides for that, but since you have brought it up, I'll give you a simple example to tell you what is scope and what is not scope. Okay. So <clears throat> let's go back to our Gmail application. Okay. Let's go to our Gmail application. Okay. Okay. So <clears throat> check mail. Okay. Let's talk about different functionalities. Check mail. Okay. Compose mail. Okay. Change password. Okay. Change theme. Okay. Let's say these are the different functionalities, or I can use the word test case as well because you most of you are from testing background. Okay. So <clears throat> these are the different things. Now, from performance testing point of view, you don't test all of them. Okay. So you define the scope of them. So check mail. Yeah, used by a lot of people. Okay. Yeah. Then this needs to be performed. Compose mail. It is used by a lot of people. Yes. So this is a part of our scope. It falls under. No, this, this is what you have to do it. 
you know, you, it falls in the scope of performance testing. Change password, very few people will use it. Okay, so yeah, not so performance critical. So we won't be testing that. Change theme, okay, colors and all that. Not many people will do it. Ah, it doesn't fall under. Uh, it's not critical for performance testing. We don't test it. Okay, so the scope could actually mean a lot of things. Okay, so this is one of the things I would say. Okay, so this is performance critical functionalities. This is performance non-critical functionalities. So performance critical functionalities falls under performance scope. Others does not. So this is one of the way the scope is identified. But there are others as well. If you go into the architect architecture side, you know they would say that okay, you know anything which hits VTS, okay, no. I, I'm from bank uh, banking sector, so I'm just picking up some architecture words from there. So VTS is a server which is related to Visa and all that. So anything hitting that, it is not uh, falling under the scope of performance testing. In that way also, you know we can uh, define the scope. Okay, so there are a lot of ways you can define the scope. This is one of the way we define the scope. There is another way saying that, okay, for this release, okay, anything related to VTS doesn't fall under the scope because it's not completely uh, uh, designed or completely developed, okay, other than, other than VTS. VTS is something related to Visa uh, and all that, okay. So like this, you define the scope. And usually the scope will be as a part of test plan. This is when, you know, when you click, Create the test plans, you define the scope of performance testing. So, yeah, as I've said, bad performance is bad for business. So, you know, you would lose your customers. Okay. So, one more thing I wanted to give you guys. So, in general, when, you know, when you compare performance testing with other testings like automation and manual. Okay. So, it is little expensive. Okay. You're using JMeter, BlazeMeter. Wonderful. Okay. So, <clears throat> so, it's expensive. Generally, the tools are expensive. Jmeter is not, obviously. So, yeah, tools are expensive. And your resources, as compared to other resources, uh, you are expensive as well. Okay. So, <clears throat> and the environment which I will cover tomorrow. Okay. So, uh, we need a full scale infrastructure environment. Okay. If you are a manual tester or an automation tester, a, a part of it or an instance of it is good enough. Okay. But if you are a performance tester, ideally you need a full scale infrastructure to do performance testing or at least half of it. Okay. If not full, at least half of it. So to build that infrastructure, to build that servers, you know, to build that kind of data, again, there is a lot of money involved. So typically performance testing is expensive, guys. Okay. But in spite of all that, um, our clients, okay, will shell out all this money, okay, to get their performance, to get their applications. So imagine how important it is, you know, from the customer's or client's point of view to get their applications performance tested. It is very important. You know, they spend a lot of money, okay, uh, but still they want their, you know, it requires a lot of money and they spend a lot of money because it is very, very critical to get their applications performance tested. Because if your applications are slow, your end customers are not happy. If your end customers are not happy, then they are not coming back to your application and you are losing a lot of customers. So, you know, you have to spend a lot of money, but still you have to get the applications 